one of the greatest bands to emerge from the 80s, giving the world such great hits as Rockzilla and Scissors in My Island. This is Canon Wine. This New York band hit the scene in 1982, changing the face of rock forever. The band was founded on the streets by childhood friends Rebus and Moonflower. Yeah, we were just sick of the same old stuff we were jamming one day. We thought we could totally pull that off. Yeah, man. It was totally for the moment. Yeah. We, we just had to, we had to, we had a social world for for our kindred, kindred spirits. Damn saw me and my boys taking it acapella like serious. And then they were like, damn, that has got mad skills, yo. And then we had to search for the boy with the beats. So I uh, answered an ad in the local newspaper. I was really into music, but Mozart can only take you so far. I think my presence in the band really helped us hit it big. The band had officially hit rock bottom, but with the release of their second album, the band was on the way to the top. We were really going places, you know. We used to walk down the street. People used to recognize us. Then we thought it was time to go on tour. <laughs> Tours went really well, but something still wasn't right. We just weren't connected on stage, you know. We just couldn't feel the chief flowing. Them is hating the player, not the game. That's where it's at. Hate the game, not me, not me. They weren't respecting my rhymes. They weren't respecting my rhymes. They weren't respecting my rhymes. Yo, yo, don't call me human. It's G Crunk. Got a gun in my bag. I'm about to shoot you. Spill your brains all over the place like a mother. Face. It's a disgrace. Get it out of this place. I'm sick of your face. So, uh, I started singing. Music's really been an important part of my life. I've been classically trained from a young age, and I thought it was time I, I took helm and steered the band in the right direction. The band was on a rocket all the way up. Can you sign there? And the full control of the band will be yours. Oh, what the is this? Rebus, I, I think it's time we talked about the band's royalties. With the release of Rebus' album, Rebus Bigger Than Jeebus, Rebus had officially hit rock bottom. Earl didn't do too good either. Uh, the, the others couldn't live without their worldly possessions. As a child of Gaia, the Earth Goddess, I felt it was my need as a human being to help them. Yeah, so we put aside our differences. We think the fans really deserved it. We uh we really wanted to reinvent the band for this tour. It's uh we didn't want the old Canon Wire. We wanted something new and exciting. I think we've really given the fans what they wanted. <laughs> 